we are on our way to pick up our iPhone at the Apple store. It is 10.33, the appointment's at 11, but because you still have to like stand in line and stuff, I figured I'm just gonna go early and hopefully try and minimize the amount of time I have to stand in line after my appointment and just get it over with. But hopefully, I don't know, this all goes smoothly. I'm not gonna like spend time setting it up at the Apple store or anything. I just wanna like get it and get gone. So <laughs> hopefully it all goes well, but we're on our way. secured the iPhone. I'm so excited to go home, open it up, unbox it with you, and set it up. So I did get the iPhone Pro Max purple in the 256 gigabytes. And yeah, it all went smoothly. There wasn't like any line, didn't really have to wait that long. Pretty sure, yeah, I'm out before even my appointment time, which is fantastic. It was super quiet in there today. I think like the initial hype, maybe people are just on to buying online picking up in store kind of thing so i'm so excited okay so just got back from the apple store and here is the iphone pro max that we picked up currently i am backing up my iphone 11 to the computer since i don't have enough room in my icloud storage to upload it to there so hopefully this is not going to take too long. I heard a lot of other people, it took a long time to set these up. However, I know in the US, these are eSIM only. So I'm hoping because I'm in Canada, we still have the SIM card in this phone that it's not going to take too long. But I also got some tempered glass screen protectors from Amazon and the case should also be out for delivery today. So let's unbox these and open them up.
Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that like ASMR type unboxing going on, but now all of the apps are just loading onto the phone. I just did a backup from my current phone. So hopefully everything comes over. It did give me like the few extra kind of generic apps like Clips, GarageBand, iMovie, Keynote, and Numbers and Pages, which I'm gonna take off. I definitely don't need that on here. Um, but then I'm going to go ahead and delete most of the things on this phone because I'm only gonna keep like TikTok on it, I think. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is gonna be on this one, but here's another look at the phone itself. Gorgeous purple color. I think my case is out for delivery as well, so hopefully it's here soon. Here's all my emails and stuff notifying me that there's a new device using my Apple ID. But, oh my gosh, it is so, so nice. It is so weird to like hold because it is a lot bigger than this one. So, yeah. But, it was a pretty easy setup process. I still have to get the SIM card out of this one. So, maybe we can go ahead and do that. They never come with like those SIM pins anymore. So I'm going to have to see if I can find something. Okay, I just pulled out my iPhone 11 box. I don't know. Leave me a comment down below. Are you one to keep your iPhone boxes or are you normal and throw them away? But for me, I don't know. I just feel like they are too nice to throw away. Look at this. They still came with headphones in the iPhone 11. Headphones. So I have an extra pair of those. I have an extra like cable and even another spare charging brick of the old kind. Didn't even remember that I had these. So that's how long they last though. So I feel like the choice not to include those items is just kind of weird. But anyways, that's besides the point. I think in here it should have a, oh, it does have a little pin for the SIM card. It's just like one of these small, tiny little pins that you can use to get the a few moments later okay so this one is now all set up with everything on here but i stupidly just deleted everything on my iphone 11 including my tiktok drafts so I'm a little heartbroken on that, but that like, meh. oh well. I guess I just lost 30 of my videos I was going to post, which sucks, definitely means I don't even know like what videos they were, what I have to refilm, that kind of thing. So definitely disappointed about that, but this one is all ready to go. I just have TikTok now here and I'll have this as like my second phone to do live streams and stuff from and then this one to then post from and stuff like that. So here are the other things that came in the box, just the USB to USB-C cable, and then the little instructions. Actually, I didn't even check if there's a, well, there's a pin in this one, there we go. And one sticker, but this one is much smaller than the usual box, I guess. There's not too much in here but I will be keeping that as well because I love to keep the little boxes so these two can go together. This is kind of what the always on display looks like. We can see the dynamic island up here as well. And then it is just a little bit darker. This is the current wallpaper I have on it, which is just the weather. This is what it looks like when it's fully bright. And here is all of the apps. I need to go in and delete these ones, of course. The thing I'm most excited for is the camera on here. Whoa. Look at that zoom. Pretty good. I have yet to like configure the camera settings, so I do need to go in and do that. But you can like pick the different like filters and stuff on here, which is kind of cool. So I do like that. And then they also have the cinematic mode, which means I can put this like in focus and everything else is blurry or I can like put that in focus and then this is like blurry. So I haven't had that on my previous phone, which I am excited to go in and like really 
play around with all of these settings and stuff like that. So fun, so cool. And there is also action mode, I believe, which is this little guy up here. And then that should be like kind of like a stabilization almost. So need to go in and play with all of the kind of new settings and stuff to really set it up. But that is the current state of my iPhone. Let me know if I should do like a current updated what's on my iPhone. I just did one with my iPhone 11 like a month ago, I think. And I feel like not much of the apps have changed yet. But since I did get 256 gigabytes in this phone, where my other one was only 64, I believe, I feel like I can put a lot more apps and stuff on this one. So maybe I'll get a few more apps um, depending on what I need exactly. But that is is the current setup. Okay, so it's a little bit later. I changed and stuff already, as you can tell, but my case just arrived from Amazon, so I wanted to open it as the last part of this video and kind of, you know, complete the circle. So I just got this one from the company Jet Tech. It is the same as the iPhone screen protector that I put on my phone earlier. And I just got this one off of Amazon because I didn't want to pay for an overpriced one from Apple. That's the other thing. I thought it was really funny when I did pick up my iPhone. They were really trying to upsell me on the Apple Care thing. And I am not one actually to get Apple Care on my devices, which I don't know. I feel like Apple Care is a slight bit of a scam. I've never gotten it before and I've never had issues with my phone. Like my iPhone 11 is still in really, really good condition. Like I haven't dropped it. It's not cracked. It's not scratched. Nothing. So I figure if I bought like a case and a screen protector, then that would be enough to keep it just fine. And instead of paying like $230 or $250 plus whatever the deductible is to get it fixed if something happens, I just feel like that wasn't really worth my money. So I opted out Apple Care, but she was like pushing hard for me to get Apple Care. Anyways, that aside, here is the case. I was planning to get the silver phone, so I did get pink. I know pink and purple maybe don't like match the best, but it is just like a kind of silicon case with like a, I don't know, fuzzy interior almost. Oh, I need to clean this. I'm just going to use a little microfiber cloth to get all the gross fingerprints I've put on it already off of here so that it is nice and clean to go into the case. Honestly though, I feel like there's nothing better than like a, a naked iPhone, um, if you will. <laughs> but for protective purposes, we best put her in here. Ooh, okay, there we go. And that's taken away the little table wobble thing because the cameras are quite raised in this phone, but it doesn't wobble when the case is on it. So there we go, that is what it looks like. Actually, I don't mind this case combo that much, the little pink and purple. I think it's kind of cute. There she is, my iPhone 14 Pro Max. I've been loving it so far. I've been playing around with all of these settings and features, but I still have like so many things to try and figure out. And I don't know, I feel like I've already gotten used to the size of this too. It wasn't like too much of a break-in period, but I just love the bigger screen on it. I think it's gonna be so handy for editing TikToks, editing videos, photos, and stuff like that on here. So very, very excited about this. Um, but yeah, leave me a comment down below. Do you get Apple Care or do you risk it for the biscuit? That is going to be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing and this kind of vlog type video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more content and hit that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. I'm so excited to post some more things with my iPhone, but again, let me know if you guys wanna see a updated what's on my iPhone video, but I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!